I enjoy playing Pyro, he's pretty fun when you combo your weapons or commit war crimes with the plug. But then I look over a back burner and wonder why it has less kills than my stock, which is a weapon that I barely even use. Here I'll explain why backburner is one of my least favorite weapons in TF2 in general. But before we do that, let me at least cover the stats, even though you already know how it works. It's fast, I promise. You deal crits when burning someone from behind and your air blast now costs 50 instead of the usual 20. Before I talk about this weapon, I want to quickly mention how scary this weapon was back in the day. When it was released, it called air blast, but after 2010, it got a 20% damage increase, which was slowly trickled down to 10% and removed altogether in the Pyromania update, but its lack of air blast was sent to 150% increase cost in the Hatless update. Honestly, these changes were for the better, as I don't even want to imagine how terrifying it will be to go against a free to play pyro who can now melt you 20% faster. But let's talk about the weapon we have now. Backburner is used like the stock, it deals the same damage, the afterburn hurts as much, but now you get to deal free crits from behind. How nice is that? Like you don't really give up anything other than being able to air blast 4 times. I'll have to admit that when you're in the right situation, it's so funny to see how fast you melt people. But that right situation is so fucking strict. This game is really janky on what counts as someone's back like when you're clearly behind them but the game thinks you're not so no crits for you. Like that's my main issue with this unlock, because the game is so strict with it, I don't really see any point in using it. It could be too stuck, but because you can't really afford air blast with this thing, it kind of fails at that task too. If I want to be a combo pyro, I'll use decreaser, if I want crits, I'll use block Destinator. if I need more burst damage, dragon's fury feels that need, and if I just want to burn enemies the old fashioned way, I'll just use the stock. But pairing this with the thermal thruster is pretty fun as you can more effectively get to positions to get some use out of that crit stat. I am not entirely sure how to balance it without it becoming annoying, but I saw someone suggest reducing the air blast cost to 30, so that would at least let you somewhat reflect projectors or extinguish teammates without feeling like you're wasting ammo. That's about what I had to say about backburner, like it's not awful, but it's not for me, so if you find some satisfaction out of it, that's great, but I'll just stick with these two options. Thank you for watching, do leave your talks down below and have a nice day. Ha 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 ha!